let's get started. Where? Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. Don't you dare check. I replaced the ingredients for the potion. She must have been Ursula's house. Mm. Thank you, ma'am. Please don't do it again or we should ask. I didn't mean to make a mess, but those potions were just so unique. I couldn't resist experimenting. Well, I guess we should count ourselves lucky that nothing went catastrophically wrong. But Rose Luck can have a bit of a mean streak sometimes. I she could drag you into like a nasty little kelp thing. I'll be careful around her. Thank you for the warning. I'll keep that in mind. Look at his little smile. He did mention that someone here has a house made from the pumpkin. Fascinating. Yep, but that's the very godmother. So please don't get any ideas. She already has a hard enough as it is. I can take you for a little visit. Just be on your best behavior, okay? You have my word. I'll look at him go. I just love Batman pumpkins. What a wonderful name. Oh, but nothing's more charming than a classic autumn gold pumpkin born champions. Too true. I've used those in my parades quite often. created my own. It had scales and a dozen legs. It was positively frightful. Oh, I bet Godmother wishes she never spoke to him. Look at her. She's trying to get away as fast as she can. She's like, I'm out. This is too much for me. I can't. I can't handle that. Oh, poor Jack. I wonder if Jack's gonna make any friends here. Well, if Jack only has one friend, I am she. And if Jack has no friends, I guess I'm dead. Did you have a nice chat with Fairy Godmother? Yes, in fact, I think she might be my favorite person in the village. I wish I could say the same for her. Look at her magnificent house. That's a good point. I should be her favorite Jack. Person? Did I say person? I meant fairy. She's my favorite fairy in the village. Now that is a smooth sing. Look at this smooth operator. Oh my goodness, Jack. Now then, there is something with which I could use your particular help. Sure, what's up? I wrote that the villagers aren't aware of my role as the pumpkin king. They don't know if they can come to me for their every frightening need. I see the issue. We do have a good amount of loyalty here already. Exactly. What do you suggest? Well, the fairy godmother just shared with me this lovely design for a pumpkin throne. Do you think you can help me build it? Maybe that's exactly what we're missing for in front of Jack's house. Oh my goodness, it's like all my prayers were answered. Sure. You'll naturally need a great deal of pumpkins, 31 of them to be exact. Well, lucky for him, I have like 80, 86, 96. I think I have like 96 of them in front of my house. As well as some dark wood and dead pieces to do it. Those numbers will be perfect for a Halloween-inspired throne, don't you think? Thirty-one? Most certainly. Ten? I'm not sure what's so spooky about ten. It's an even number. I intend to find even numbers to be the least scary. I wouldn't expect anything else when making something for you. One throne coming up. Thank you, Anna. Or place it anywhere in the village. I want everyone to feel free to sit on it. But you're not responsible for any fright that that may ensue. Actually, I would claim full responsibility for that. Look at this troublemaker. I'll write up what we're taking a pick together after to commemorate you being here in the valley. I would be honored. Well, I'm very happy that I decided to make Jack my lovely gardener friend. So I guess we should get started on getting these pumpkins. I wonder if I'll be as lucky as last time where I had a whole bunch of golden special pumpkins. So far it doesn't look to be the case. Oh my goodness. I swear this always happens to me. Every time they raise up a level. You know what happens? It's always during the time. I have the golden pumpkin where I can get extras. It never fails. I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, well, let's get back to. Oh my gosh. Another one. I cannot believe it. That was quite surprising. Let's keep at it, Jack. I can't wait to be able to put everyone in their little winter outfits, by the way. Jack's gonna have one. I'm pretty 
t-shirt. Nikki has one. Ariel will have one. Bill will have one. And I think that makes all, oh, of course, and Merlin. Though I'm not sure if I'll put Merlin's on because I feel like if anyone deserves to wear a cute Santa outfit, it should be Jack. I might be a bit biased, but I wouldn't want to steal his spotlight. You know, especially since he's new to the valley. I want him to make a good impression, because so far he has not. I wonder who Jack would be friends with. So far he says he really likes Mary Godmother, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure if the feeling is mutual. So I was thinking, maybe he might really like Stitch. Or, you know what, maybe him and Mal would be pretty good friends. Because I think Jack would be absolutely enamored by his stories Especially because they both seem to do impossible things And I think Jack would find the shape-shifting to be quite novel I think it's something that he would experiment with and, and also try to replicate I'm going out on a limb here and saying this is Jack's armpit that's going to be my first thought based off this picture. Look, you can see the start of his little silly collar with the, uh, with the little cat. And I feel like he's doing that spooky face that he does where he pulls his mouth down really wide. And he puts his, makes his eyes like little slits. That's, that's going to be my thought. And you know what? I believe I'm right. I'm quite impressed with myself. I don't know how you guys feel about, you know, Disney movies, but maybe that means I've seen them way too many times to be able to recognize people by their elbow and their, uh, their armpits. If you are in the same boat as I am, I would love for you guys to tell me down in the comments. It would make me feel less silly about my love for these movies. Okay, let's see if we get another Jack one. This is a tough one. I'm gonna say this is Rapunzel. Either Rapunzel or Encanto. But I feel like I see a little bit of Rapunzel's hair right there in the background, in the top right corner. I should've stuck with my gun. I thought it would look like the tree in Antonio's little birdhouse. Or treehouse. I must say, if I had a power, I would love to have Antonio's to be able to speak to animals. I think that would be so interesting. Okay, and then he also needs dark wood. Stay on task, Anna. Dark wood. I always think it's really difficult to find the dark wood because this is such a dark area, and yet it only spawns here. I don't know, maybe, like, I can't why they have to be the color they are, but I kind of wish. I don't know, they picked a different color. I know that defeats the purpose, then it wouldn't be dark wood, but I thought maybe make it striped. That would also be quite helpful. Any others? And I see him out oh, here's more. Here's more. I don't see any others. And watch, I bet a lot of you will pick them out and be like, Anna, you've missed several of them, but I think I have enough that I've saved up. So let's sell our pumpkins real quick. Here you go, Cookie. Have my a million pumpkins, except for 31 of them. Oh my goodness. Look at our money. We are absolutely rolling in it. Let's go craft our lovely pumpkin king. His throne setting this car doesn't get a throne. But I mean, again, he does get this really cool area. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope it looks really cool. I'd be really upset if it was ugly. Like, really upset. Oh, it's kind of ugly. Also, I thought it was going to be like made of pumpkins, but instead it's made out of the wood. What were all the pumpkins for then? I just pick out one pumpkin. Oh, Jack, why? Forgotten I see you. I will get to you later. Please, please leave. This is an AP conversation. 
conversation. See you when I've forgotten to his. Okay. Bye. Oh, that's right. I need to put down his phone. Before I do that, let's plant some of these pumpkins. I really want to know you guys' thoughts on the forgotten. She's not my favorite. Every time I see her, I get kind of sad. Also, she's kind of spooky looking. And she stands out a lot in the village. But I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys really like her. I read that they want to allow her to have the same outfit as you, not just change hairstyles. And that's something that I'm not like super fond of. I spend a lot of time picking out my outfits at Disney Dreamlight. And it made me kind of sad to know that, like, no matter how hard I try, there's going to be somebody walking around wearing the exact same outfit as me. I'm not sure how that makes me feel, you know? But please, let me know your thoughts. Oh, this is going to be a lot of pumpkins. I mean, look at that little raccoon. The way he moves. I don't know, it's kind of silly. I really like it. And I really enjoy when Disney creates, like, whole new animals and, like, aesthetics for these battle pass companions. Kind of like the weird doll-looking raccoon that they gave you last year for Halloween. It spooked me so much, but I had a blast using him with his little button eyes. I'm actually pleasantly surprised as well that we were able to get Jack all the way up to friendship level 4. Again, if you have large patches of produce in your valley and you want to level up some friendship, especially those who never seem to be at Remy's, this is the perfect place or perfect role for them. Okay, let's quick eat some food and then we can get to water a fun quirk about my island, for those of you who don't know, is the person I always find in my pumpkins and in front of my home is surprisingly enough Scar. Scar is obsessed with my pumpkin patch. I'm not entirely sure why, but it doesn't make me mad. It's something I can always count on, and I'm very thankful that I made him into another gardening role. So anytime I need to pick pumpkins for some quick cash, he's always ready and willing to go. Maybe he's a little jealous too, because usually I use Scar to do this. He's probably wondering why I'm using this lanky tall man instead of him. I think it'd be super cute if Scar or some of the other more lucky friends could actually use some of our benches and stuff. Could you imagine Simba, like, lounging on one of these? It'd be so cute. Unfortunately, they just kind of awkwardly sit on the grass. Okay, Jack, I'm not sure, like, how much I'm into this. But if it makes you happy, like, sure, get all your pads off, I guess. I might look cute over here. Actually, kind of cute if it wasn't like glitching into the tree. Let's make it maybe slightly more this way. Or maybe back over here. Yeah, that's kind of fun, I guess. We'll see how I feel about it. I'll marinate on it. Maybe you guys can tell me what you think. Oh my goodness. Sir, come here, come here. Take a picture of the book. Come here. Oh my goodness. 
sit on it. Oh, I was really hoping she would. Oh my goodness. Look, now you guys can be best friends and talk science or witchcraft. I'll leave that up to you. Hannah, this looks splendid. Again, I'm, I'm questioning why the 31 pumpkins when there's only one pumpkin jack. But that's fine. Really, you like it. More than a dozen bats in a belfry. I'm gonna assume that's a lot. I'm glad. Just promise me one thing, Jack. Of course. As long as it doesn't involve insects and burlap sacks. That's like very highly specific. And also, I promise I'm not like Rock, Shock, and Barrel. Are, that, are those their names? And I promise it won't involve walking bathtubs either. No. Just ask people's permission before you touch their stuff, okay? Even if it does seem new and fascinating. But I'm so curious, however. I promise I'll respect others' possessions in the future. That's all I can ask for. But if it's my stuff, you're free to touch it. I do not care. My stuff is your stuff, Jack. I must be out, but there are still so many places here to explore. Oh my goodness. Wow, he already has another quest. But I think we'll save that.